The rebels are running for their lives, giving up nearly all the ground they have gained after Allied airstrikes over the weekend took out some of Gaddafi's heavy weapons. The front line has been shifting in the sand since then. First Sunday, moving west over 200 miles to the outskirts of Gaddafi's birthplace of Sirte, then all the way back to the oil town of Brega in less than a week. Just a few days ago, this was the scene of celebration when Ejdabia had fallen to rebel hands and the front was moving quickly to the west. Now the rebels seem to be in full-scale retreat and are telling us not to go any further because Gaddafi forces are approaching once more. Rebels are starting to show their combat fatigue. Outgunned and regularly outflanked in the field, they lack any sort of military strategy or leadership. This is not my, uh, my profession. But what we can do now, we must do anything to push this, this hill and nobody help us. They desperately need command and control if they hope to make any battlefield gains. They are eager to take ground, but are quick to flee when they face any real fight. One simple problem here is communication. Networks are down, satellite phones are rare, and there's not a two-way radio in sight. It's difficult to know how the rebels are communicating. Erica? Mandy Clark, Mandy, thanks.